Good guys, my name is Lil Tomo. Welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog toy item collectible review. As you know, I'm just Lil Tomo with the Prestigious House Sonic the Hedgehog sitting on my lap because it's one of those stressful days. That's why I decided to review none other than a Lil Sonic. <laughs> it's not Lil, but the Sonic the Hedgehog Collector's Edition Stress Ball with Super Sonic Squeeze. So you can reenact the power that is Dr. Robotnik and destroy your nemesis Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, this is manufactured by none other than Paladin. Paladin? Pretty much, that's how I pronounce Now straight of the bat, Paladin have manufactured some of the most phenomenal merchandise pertaining to Sonic the Hedgehog in quite some time. Uh, quite arguably, I would probably say Paladin uh, is pretty much Top notch when it comes to quality packaging and just overall design. Not to say that other companies like First for Figures, Tommy, and all that sort of stuff don't make quality stuff. I like to feel that these guys have really gone out of the way just to to exemplify Sonic the Hedgehog in its all glo gloriness. Is that even a word, gloriness? I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. Uh, leave a comment if that's obviously not in the Thethoris. <laughs> but it's it's really Paladin has really outshined themselves in, in some of the merchandise they've released. Uh, my understanding is they do limited releases of Sonic stuff and this is obviously uh, one of the few that have come out. So if you want to see more Paladin review, check out my channel. I've got a whole bunch of theirs so you can definitely check it out. So as per the name, let's go through the actual packaging and then go through the actual item itself because I kind of feel this kind of... Oh, it's so awesome and everything. So predominantly the packaging itself is predominantly checkered and it's blue and it's kind of what somewhat uh, very, very painted out or whited out um, creamy yellow there it kind of has a gradient faded effect which you think it is due to the weathering of light or whatnot but it's not it's just a gradient that certain use of course standard obligatory checkers which is of obviously pays how much to sonic the hedgehog green hill zone of course this has been advertised or what's advertised in a different packaging in a box but of course when it came to release they decided you know what let's go with this i would imagine this is more cost effective there is a slight criticism i have of this but i will get to that uh, when we get to it but other than that overall i think the packaging is awesome so you have of course like the hedgehog doing his uh, obligatory revving up and you have of course like the hedgehog and it says collector's edition which would imply that this over time will dissipate and increase in value my guess um things that are called collectors editions or collectors doesn't necessarily always increase in values that being said though i like to hope that this does not because of resale values but because i think the quality is quite phenomenal so you have of course sonic the hedgehog there you have stress ball and you have where it says uh super sonic squeeze which is awesome on the side you just have sonic the hedgehog and if you look closely you just see a copious amount of sonic the hedgehog faces there kind of like he's entrapped in this chrono environment yeah so there's that on the opposite direction you have of course the sonic revved up and of course the checkered field and of course the sonic the hedgehog at the back you see his quills and if you look closely you're going to see his butt but that is that is and you have more uh obligatory sonic the hedgehog faces and of course the bag so the packaging itself stands awesome as a collector's piece as is to be directly honest with you opposed to some of the other merchandise that i tend to have where the the boxing is good it's not character friendly in terms of playability and view side and all that sort of stuff uh this one my honest opinion does at the very bottom you have obligatory information that is required you have sega you have planton and palaton is from a company from the uk so definitely an awesome item uk seems to be developing some pretty phenomenal stuff out there what does it say disposable okay well this cardboard is uh 100 recyclable awesome eco-friendly which is pretty like i know i'm going to be looking into this pretty hard but if you think about it sonic is always been being nature friendly not mechanical or driven so you would make sense with the box now taking this out is quite easy there are one of two ways of course you can either cut it from the side and flip it open or you can do it from the standard from the very bottom now i'm gonna tell you up front i've yet to do it myself but i need to make this quite clear if you want to keep the box in its own entirety in superb mid condition please take note of these two little hinges on that side the this is probably the one criticism that i have and i don't know what's going to happen if i keep opening this up but essentially these two hinges are on literally a, a, a string's length edge on it ripping off so when you're taking it out 
be super 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 cautious I don't know if you can see this on my one but you can see how it looks like it's almost ripping off so it hasn't ripped off I may look into getting a different um, an, another one I know that's pretty anal in terms of why would you it's a waste of money well yeah you're right but at the same time it's so awesome so be super careful unless you don't care about the box from a collector's point of view then just do whatever you want really so I'm gonna take him out so I'm gonna show you what I mean I'm gonna okay I know I'm beating around the bush but I kind of feel like this is if you're all like super into collecting this is crucial to know if you're not then just fast forward this so the hinge here looks like it's gonna rip off it hasn't ripped off but it looks like so it really comes down to you which way you want to open it of course either way you wish to open it like if you choose to open it from the side here please take note that it's actually glued onto that so it's kind of like giving you a false hope so it's kind of a tough little one from a collector's point of view do you take it or not I've taken this out a few times and look as long as you apply a caution it should be fine enough about the box because nobody cares about the box unless you're one of those people this is awesome all right straight out of the bat please focus my beloved cam this is literally a squeeze ball this is probably one of the most adorable i have made a different kind of squeeze ball version that which was a, a 90s version you can definitely check that out on my channel um but this is superb in it's pretty adorable like you have his head it's, it's classic sonic the hedgehog and it's literally how he would look if he does a spin roll spin dash in any conceivable way okay show the light you have his eyes it's done well you have the curvature and which is kind of embezzled as in it pops out so it kind of gives this very 3d it is a 3d object of course but it gives it even more of, of, of a symmetrical vibe to it in that you can it's not just a circle it, it, it would appear as if it would actually be sonic of course you have his little ears of course and at the back you have all his quills and of course you cannot go wrong without his tails so those are his quills on the actual side which is except exactly the same on the opposite side very symmetrical you have his hands quilled up like that they even go to the finer details which on either side where you have his belt buckle like jesus do they go into the extra mile which i think is for normal and of course you need the obligatory Sega on one side and Peloton to basically advertise it's standard so that's how it looks now of course what makes this a piece which say advertise with super sonic squeeze I don't know what the difference between squeeze is to that of supersonic but essentially yeah you can really just tear it into you can it's very it's a, it's a hard squishy um, plastic now I'm gonna do this on camera I'm gonna hope you see it please do you see it no okay uh, do you see how around my fingers you kind of have like this ripple effect um, rippling around my finger um, that is a concern if from a collector's point of view if you mess around with this if, if like I'm, I'm gonna review this on two parts as a standalone piece if you don't really care about the packaging you don't care about anything else but it looks uh, you just care about the way it looks this is the way it looks it's it stands awesome by itself a 10 out of 10 straight up i'm not even going to sugarcoat this from a collector's point of view i have another concern besides obviously the box but the most concern is those little ripple effects that i told you i uh, told you uh i would imagine paint apps that's actually on the main uh canvas is that what you call it the main mold of the actual thing so the more you squeeze it the more likely here's a good example no, that's a bad example okay please show okay well you saw it before I saw it on camp okay is that a good one uh, anyway the paint apps on the actual mold itself gives off the illusion obviously i haven't yet to find this but gives off the illusion that over time the more you squeeze it the more it's 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 pretty much gone through the, the environmental factors of any toy or figurine those paint apps will dissipate or disappear and will get damaged over time of course that is to be expected with any merchandise that you play around with it's it's it is what it is right so if you're a super person that believes in rarity and collectability and all that fun stuff that normally comes with collecting i wouldn't mess oh sorry i wouldn't mess around with this too much um i've 
literally, I've been in this, this to the crisp, uh, you know, just smashing it against my wall, just to, literally, <laughs> I'm not even joking, and I thought this was sturdy. Now, now it is sturdy, it hasn't chipped away, of course, if it gets a zoom cut up, yeah, of course it chipped, it had, nothing has chipped away. That being said, I would imagine that over time, it will. So that's a side note for you guys to basically look out for if you're into that, you know, collectability or collecting stuff of this nature, that sort of stuff. But overall, it is a phenomenal little stress ball. It is such a stress relief. And you can also reenact the whole, you know, I am Dr. Robotnik, I am going to crush you, Sonic. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a really bad in, uh, voiceover of Dr. Robotnik. But you get the drift. Uh, how much did I get it for? Oh, I, I got it from the UK. Uh, I think it was about fifteen dollars or up. I got it in a box with various other things. So fifteen dollars. That's that's a very look. It's still. I haven't seen this for a while, to be honest. Then again, I haven't actively looked for this. I'm still going to give this one star out of ten because a lot of Paladin stuff has has been released and it's out there. So look, definitely check it out. I'm I'm sure it's out there. I would probably give this maybe two stars out of ten, in my honest opinion. So that's the rarity. Of course, over time when it stops being manufactured and whatnot. You know, of course, it's going to go on. But for what it is, as it does... This, yeah, it even stands perfectly. Well, let's just look at it. There you go. You have Sonic. He just stands there. Does he stand on his head? Probably not. No. He stands perfectly well on his feet. Oh, that's a bonus feature. Bonus feature. So that's that. Definitely worth it. I would recommend to pick it up. Even if you're not a super hardcore collector or any, or of any sorts and just don't like collecting merchandise, this is probably one of the things I really recommend you guys pick up because it's phenomenal, it's great, it's it's everything you could ever want in a stress ball slash just Sonic Little Merchandise. And rarely do you get much merchandise of him spinning around in his traditional you know, spin ball, which I think is pretty phenomenal. And yeah, you can purchase them in most places. Like I said, I haven't really checked recently. I've the first time when I picked this up, I could find this on Amazon, eBay. Uh, obviously, I couldn't get this in Australia because Australia doesn't like Sonic. Oh, that's so annoying. And anyway, guys, did I miss anything out? Uh, no, I haven't. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this review. Let me know your thoughts on it. Would you pick it up? Do you hate it? Is it something kind of like, would you not pick it up? I think it's awesome. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this review. Leave your comments. Let me know. And all the fun stuff that comes with it. Speed on. Take care. Till next time.